Hello everybody, welcome at CNC machining tutorial. My name is Peter and in today's video I will provide you some basic information about tapping tool. So let's get started. Okay guys, I'm very happy I can uh, provide you some information about tapping tool. As first, I would like to mention that at Triumph machine there were two kinds of tapping tool. Uh, so if your machine is suitable for this type, don't use the other. It would lead to a collision. Okay? So this type of tapping tool is divided on two different kinds. One is type 1 and the other is type 2. What's the difference? The difference is in the inside gear ratio. What does it mean is that at this type, number one, if I would hold this part and turn the, the other, I can go once and a half and I am at the end on, of the way, okay? And the type number two, I can go one, two, three, three times around and a half okay so that's the difference in the ratio so I want to say that for example this capsule if it's suitable for type 2 don't use it on type 1 okay it apply for both waves if some another capsule is suitable for type 1 don't use it at type 2 it would lead to a collision Okay, so, and there is one more important information and uh, if you are using uh, metric threads, so for uh, the thread M10, you need a special die. So keep on mind, for M10 tapping tool, you need special die. For all the other types, you are okay and just the basic one, which is provide with the tapping tool, you can use it for all the other kinds of tapping tools. So, how to set up a tapping tool? Okay, so the thing is, we have, like, I have just a couple of them, but there is much more kinds of tapping tools. So, how could I know what capsule to use for which of the tapping tool? On the body of the capsule, it is all always uh, written sometimes it's written here and sometimes it's written over here why do we have too many capsules it is because uh, every capsule is suitable for a different um, for different tapping tools. For example, this one, as you can see, it has uh, different, uh, different threads and this one has also different. So, for example, this tapping tool, it is 3816. What does these numbers mean? These numbers mean that the 38, that's the major diameter, So the 38 means that's the major diameter and the 16 it means that there are 16 threads per one inch. Okay and for example this tapping tool that's a quarter by 20 so it means that this diameter the major diameter is quarter inch and there are 20 threads per one inch. So as you can see, there is a big difference. The quarter 20, it has much uh, smoother the threads and the 3.8, it's kind of rough. So, and for this reason, we have to use different type of capsules. As I mentioned on capsule and on the cup for the capsule, it's always written for what type of tapping tool it is suitable. So for example here, this is 3816 and it belongs to 
this capsule is also 3816. It means that the thread in the cup and the thread on the capsule, they are same, it, the, it fits together. And it also match the thread on the tapping tool. Okay, so how to put it together? There is a spring and a plastic piece inside. So the spring is gonna catch, as you can see at the end of the tapping tool, there is a small notch. So just put it inside, press it and it will lock. Okay, and then put the cup on the capsule, just um, you have to make the top part of the tapping tool even with the capsule. Okay, so there isn't any step, this is good to use. So, and also on the body of the capsule is written for what kind of tapping tools either type 1 or type 2 is suitable. So the 3816 is suitable for type 2. Okay, so let's set up this tapping tool for the 38 thread. Okay. So there is a screw as you can see just release the screw and if you push the capsule from the other side of the tapping tool it will go out the tapping tool put it in the zero position it means that this pin is in uh, this way okay it's like that okay so it is like this and it also you can feel it that there is some kind of flock so it locks on the on the zero position. The cup of the capsules have a notch. So adjust the capsule in the tapping tool that the notch goes in the way uh, towards to the to the screw. If the notch is a little bit off, you can adjust it. And tighten the screw. And make sure, make sure that the thread former is inside and it doesn't uh, interrupt somehow the flat surface of the tapping tool. Thread former will not scratch the surface of the material. Okay, so there is a die, there is a cartridge and the die plate. So the die simply put into the die plate. As you know, there is a notch, there is a pin, so it means there is only one way how to fit it in there. Slide it in inside the cartridge and for this make sure that once the tapping tool is in the cartridge it will stay in this direction the notch will match the hole in here you cannot put it in there like this okay for that use a setup 8 kit and just gently slide in hold it with your thumb remove the 8 kit and that's it this tapping tool is ready to go. Okay guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it and it was useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below this video into the comment section. And see you later. Take care.